can we talk about the biggest YouTuber in the world and his normalization of a thing? Or is that something that you're not even allowed to talk about? Like, how off limits is that topic? Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying. And it's one of those things where if you put it out there and we were to say his name and associate it, it's like insta hate. And I enjoy his content. I think he makes fun videos. However, what he's doing is normalizing transgenderism amongst children. It's not amongst adults. The target audience is children. And it's normalization. But if you talk about it... Well, see, here's the thing that's interesting. Like, we haven't even said his name. Everyone knows who we're talking about. We can't... Yeah. And I don't, and I don't know the guy. And I'll also be honest. Yeah. I'm ne- I, I know the kind of videos he makes. I yeah. know he makes, like, these prank or, like, these show, game show videos. I've never watched them. But I do know this. I know mm. enough about the world and how it works to understand. And you have to base your worldview on probabilities. Yeah. Right? Like we said earlier, if I go stroke the lion, Mm. I'm probably going to get eaten. (laughs) There may be examples where the lion doesn't eat me, but I think it's a good good worldview for me to hold for the preservation of my bloodline that I avoid the lions. So when you look at scenarios where you don't have all the information, you have to come up with the probability. So what is the probability that of the four or five or six people who ever make this show, which is the largest and most famous show amongst children in the world, which has a whole bunch of corporate sponsorships, a whole bunch of money behind it, taking into consideration the things I've said about how they try to get me to sell my soul, that one of them decides to very publicly do something which adheres with an agenda they are trying very hard to psyop the youth with. And then the leader of this channel, Mr. Whatever, he very calmly and very cucked says, yeah, it's good, I support them, and did it because he knows he's going to get in a lot of trouble if he doesn't. Mm. And you're going to sit here and say that that's all a coincidence and there was no corporate powers involved and no money involved and no one said to him, listen, you better support this trans- this transition because if you don't, you're going to lose your channel. Okay. And you're telling me that this all just happened organically and there was no plan at all. If you believe that, then you're an idiot. <laughs> then you're an idiot. And, and it's a psyop. And psyops are slow and incremental. And that's why a five-year-old who's watching it now who doesn't even truly understand what's going on, by the time he's 15, 16, 17, when he's arguing, saying, well, no, because, you know, I know people who change, change, change gender, and they were happier than ever before, mm. and I saw them before, and then I saw them after, and they were so happy, and all their friends supported them, and that... Sion. They are after your kids. They are coming for your children, everybody at home, because it is your children that are the future which they want to control. When you have kids and you love them and you love your wife and you look into your beautiful smiling daughter or son's face, please understand that they are nothing but a tool for the Matrix and they are coming for them. They are coming for them. And if that doesn't panic you and you don't worry about that and you sit and say, oh, well, we'll just let them watch YouTube. Ah, it's just one of them became transgender. Oops. Shit just happens. Oops. Oops. Well, then you're a dummy waiting to die. We're not allowed to say Mr. Beast's name, so I won't say it. You can't say Mr. Beast's name. You can't say Mr. Beast. You can't say Mr. Beast. No, but here's the thing that's interesting. If there was any honor amongst that group and i don't have a problem with this guy i don't know this guy yeah. I'm, I'm i'm more famous than him anyway so we're gonna probably meet him someday i don't have a problem with him but here's the thing that i find interesting let's remove the argument about transgender mm. because they're gonna sit and say that it's not his fault he's born in the wrong body blah blah and that's a, that's a that's a dumb shit hole i don't even want to go down let's him remove it me as a man of honor i believe that now because of my amp massive influence i have a responsibility and i'll admit this now There are clips of me that I made 10 years ago, which I don't think would be appropriate for 14 and 15 year olds to see because I made them when I had no followers and no subscribers and I was joking with my friends and we were filming everything and it didn't matter. And now I understand with massive power comes massive responsibility. And I've had to create my message and be slightly more careful knowing that every single word I say is watched. That's that's sensible for you to become more famous and then be more careful about certain things you say or how you say them is the sensible thing to do. So if I was a member of this group of people and I decided to do something which was obviously sexually related, it was regarding sex in general, and it was obvious for everyone to see, and it was something that was going to raise a lot of questions, and it was going to involve sexuality amongst the lives of a bunch of people who shouldn't be thinking about sex yet, I would have enough honor to say, you know what, I've made enough money, and I really need to do this. I resign. Mm. And I'd do it in private. Why would I do that publicly? Irregardless, please understand, because they're going to argue this, not understanding I'm smarter than all of them. Irregardless of how important it is to do, irregardless of the fact that you believe it's essential, even if I agree with you that it's essential, even if I agree with you that you need to do this because you were born in the wrong body, even if I agree with all that, don't we all agree 
that doing something so obviously sexual for children to observe and question is something that shouldn't be happening. Yeah. So even if you do want to do that, and even if I agree you should do that, you should still resign unless it's a psyop. Unless you're going to sit here and argue the fact that you're trying to psyop the kids, which is what they'll do. Oh, the kids need to get used to the idea psyop. So you are psyop. All the kids need to get used to the idea and they don't need to be threatened by PSYOP. So you're admitting it's a PSYOP. Because if it wasn't a PSYOP, you would have resigned and done it privately. Why didn't you want to do it privately? You have enough money. You've been making these stupid videos for long enough. You can pay your rent, sir. Or, sorry, not sir, ma'am. <laughs> but no, you want to PSYOP the kids. If you actually discuss this whole topic, you'll see it's very obvious that they want to PSYOP the kids. And that's the end goal of it. And they'll sit there and then they'll try and do, because I'm a professional and I know exactly how these people think. They'll argue the PSYOP is okay. Well, why should I hide? I'm proud. So they'll argue. Then they'll start arguing for their PSYOP. Not understanding that they're just admitting I'm right. I'm right. You're psyop and kids. I don't want any child under the age of 10 thinking about sex in any way. Changing sex, sex, dick, vagina. They have enough time for that as they grow old. They shouldn't be sitting there watching this and start going, what's going on? Why does he do that? And looking into it in general. The whole thing is haram, regardless of the fact whether you accept that he should become transgender or not. And that's the thing they don't understand. That's why they can't argue with me. I would love to sit down with these people. Bro. I would rip <laughs> them apart, which is why they're trying to keep me out of the club unless I shut up for their 50M.